Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times.
have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team, immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. personnel. Regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a schedule for analysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your duties, contact your radiation safety officer immediately. Work safe. Work smart. Your future depends on it. Now arriving at Sector C test labs and control facilities. Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know... Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Mr. Freeman, I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. I'm rather busy now. Doctor? Nielsen reports superconducting interchange is activated. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. There was a coolant leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. You're We're living in the past. In that experiment weekend. is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? Morning, champ. Hello. Good heavens! What the hell? You think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause, uh, that was, um... That was you-know-who's lunch. Hmm. 
What's the extension for technical support? Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis. Preposterous. And these ludicrous penny loafers. Nobody here has an eye for fashion. Does this lab coat make me look fat? Later, Gordon. No toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Oh, thank heavens! I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Dr. Freeman? Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy. to ensure residence control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The Acousta-Optic modulators are on the fridge. 
targets again. What's up, Doc? Should we recompile? You could say that. Greetings, Dr. Freeman. Ah, Gordon, there you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on oh. with our equipment? Oh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost! The radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it! I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly, but before you do, Activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro channel plates. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right. 
Gordon, your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mask spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level or how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. anyone in the facility. We need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. Uh. 
Interesting anterior. I wonder where its stomach is. Uh, hello? Ooh, you certainly want out, don't you? Gordon? Gordon! Man, am I glad to see you. What the hell are these things, man? And why are they wearing science team uniforms? Roger that. Let's run like hell. I think we have guests. Bullseye. Sorry, Freeman. Jesus, this place is in bad shape. Excuse me. You asked 
for it. Let me get out of your way there. This shit is something out of a sci-fi movie. That's right, child time's over. This is Sector C Anomalous Materials. We have an emergency situation here. I repeat, we have a code red emergency situation here. Possible biocontaminations. Hello? Hello? Is there anybody out there? This is Sector C. Come on, you bastard. Pick up.
Oh, thank God. Listen, I know where you can find some more weaponry. There's a security office not far from here. Take me with you, and I'll unlock the door. Lead the way, Gordon. Maybe we can reason with it. I've had my fill for excitement today. Don't forget... Um, you're welcome to stay if you want.
all along. Is that you? Is it safe? Ah! Oh, oh dear. I do believe I soiled myself.
percent. Power forty five percent. Gordon, if I had known it was you, I would have let you in. Everybody's heading for the surface, but I think they're crazy. If we stay put, someone is bound to come and rescue us. Right? You're heading out there? By yourself? May God have mercy on your soul. I'm staying here. I don't want to chance missing the evacuation team. I urge you to reconsider. There's plenty of sustenance, beverages, and scintillating conversation right here. I'll stay here. Did you understand that last announcement?
I, uh, I heard screams up ahead. Uh, you first. I'll stay here and guard this area. More buggers! Oh, these things give me the heebie-jeebies. Okay, these things are creepy. Happy trails, you poor bastard. Behind you! Oh shit, not good! Holy shit! That thing tore them to pieces! I don't think we should stick around. Ow! I think I need to... Quiet. I hear something. It could be help. <laughs> 